Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for visiting Alternavita and thank you for your time. Some very interesting developments in the um, current topic search for bovine colostrum and some interesting developments for GCMAF. But this week's post in particular is going to be on anti-aging and the benefits of bovine colostrum for inflammation in particular. And this study was published in Nutrients 2023. And it is was in particular for a special is issue on nutritional inter interventions for healthy aging. So I did not want to redo another CV-19. Although there is some interesting developments about that, in particular, I'm putting it on this page, but the anti-aging, this study sought to explore the impact of skim milk enriched with bovine colostrum on the expression of biomarkers related to inflammation, antioxidants, oxidative damage, nutrient metabolism, and genomic stability. Our present results demonstrate a significant decrease in the expression of key pro-inflammatory mediators, including CRP, IL-6, and TNFA, following the consumption of um, skim milk, bovine colostrum skim milk. This indicates a potential role in immune function function regulation and improvement of inflammatory conditions. In summary, adding bovine colostrum enriched skim milk to one's diet may help reduce the expression of different pro-inflammatory markers, including CRP, IL-6, and TNFA. Metal metabolomics Analysis findings suggest that bovine colostrum consumption may induce changes in glycerophospholipids metabolism and cysteine and methionine metabolism pathways, ultimately enhancing immune function in older adults. Consequently, our findings propose that bovine colostrum milk holds promise as a nutraceutical food to support healthy and successful aging. And this was um, 12 weeks colostrum. Among older adults. And um, the global population age 65 and older is anticipated to reach one and a half billion. By the year 2050, this projection signifies a notable increase from 9% to 16% in the share of the global population age 65 and older. The association between aging and inflammation is robust. As we age, our bodies undergo various changes, including a gradual decline in immune function leading to persistent low-grade inflammation. Inflammation is a natural response by the body's immune system to injury, infection, or tissue damage. However, in older adults, this response can become prolonged and excessive, contributing to age-related conditions like cardiovascular disease, cancer, and neurodegenerative diseases. Um, inflammation plays a key role in age-related disease and consequently addressing inflammation holds promise as an intervention to enhance immune function, mitigate age-related diseases, 
and ultimately improve overall health. Senescence represents a natural biological process marked by a series of physiological deteriorations. This study aimed to explore the impact of supplementing with bovine colostrum milk on metabolic changes and the expression of various biomarkers related to inflammation, antioxidants and oxidative damage, as well as nutrient metabolism. So the participants were age 50 to 69, and the study was 12 weeks, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, and they were instructed to consume this milk twice a day. Okay, so again, I'm going to go over this um, importance of breast milk and immune function in later life. And a weakened immune system in newborns causes GI disorders, can cause some GI disorders. Colostrum consumption provides the foundation for lifelong immunity. A newborn's immunity is weakened due to colostrum shortage or breastfeeding problems. And as a result, GI disorders manifest during adolescence or adulthood due to an impaired immune system. Uh, neonatal consumption of colostrum is essential for physical growth and appropriate immune system development and prevention of GI diseases later in life. So I kept the charts of the benefits of colostrum. Okay, so how do they think this actually worked? In particular, bovine colostrum is rich in bioactive molecules like immunoglobulins, growth factors, cytokines, and peptides known for their anti-inflammatory properties. It's the anti-inflammatory effects are attributed to immune response modulation, pro-inflammatory cytokine and enzyme inhibition, and tissue repair promotion. Notably, lactoferrin, a key component, exhibits anti-inflammatory effects by binding to bacterial cell walls, inhibiting pro-inflammatory cytokine production, and modulating immune cells. Bovine colostrum's growth factors aid tissue repair and regeneration, crucial in resolving inflammation. Peptides like lactoperoxidase demonstrate anti-inflammatory effects by inhibiting pro-inflammatory cytokine secretion and dysregulation in glyc glycerophospholipid metabolism. Another pathway influenced by bovine colostrum is linked to chronic inflammation and in various diseases. Glycerophospholipids modulate immune cell activity, interact with toll-like receptors, and serve as precursors to inflammatory mediators. Alterations in glycerophospholipid metabolism impact inflammatory responses and correlate with disease development. Furthermore, changes in cysteine and methionine metabolism post-intervention suggests a potential role in inflammation modulation. Methionine, essential for protein synthesis, can contribute to inflammation through homocysteine generation and CME regulation. Methionine restriction diets have shown promise in mitigating inflammation associated with aging and obesity. Therefore, reduced pro-inflammatory mediator expression post-consumption 
of this bovine colostrum milk may be linked to decreased methionine levels or methionine, however you want to say it. So, um, The antioxidant properties are attributed to enzymes, low molecular antioxidants, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Studies show bovine colostrum's antioxidative effects. We're in the intestinal region and the skeletal mus muscle regions. Given the link between aging, degenerative disease, and immune decline, we hypothesized that bovine colostrum could boost immunity, alleviate oxidative stress, and support overall health in older adults. Thus, our double-blind randomized control trial investigated the effects of bovine colostrum-enriched skim milk on biomarkers related to inflammation and antioxidants, oxidative damage, nutrient metabolism, and genomic stability. Analysis further explored metabolic changes, enhancing our understanding of the mechanisms behind bovine colostrum's benefits for older adults. So that's just some of the reasons why it works. And then some other interesting developments. Um, there are many drugs in development utilizing bovine colostrum. And there was some news on GCMAF. Um, including how to produce major, major, major quantities of GCMAF um, for clinical trials and drugs. There was a revisit of Dr. Yamamoto's research. There were and there was this drug called BioBlock nasal spray in clinical trial for CV19. And um, it has not since been registered, trademarked, the name BioBlock, um, bovine antibodies against CV19. Colostrum has polyclonal antibodies, so, and um, another recommendation regarding GCMAF against CV19, it was recommended to use only the oral GCMAF produced with bovine colostrum. Now I believe it's produced with cheese whey. Don't know if they use bovine colostrum anymore, but that was a paper submitted by them for the treatment of CB19. And it appears that CB19 has opened a lot of doors for use of colostrum as an actual drug. And there was also another paper by the dairy industry on how to mass produce and um, what's the word quality control of the bovine colostrum so there were quite quite a few new articles to be had from about bovine colostrum and this is just another one from 2023 um, as a supplement for 
the elderly. So um, a lot of stuff going on lately and um, just further validation and some of the newer interesting findings, which I hope you'll take home again this week are the effects of not breastfeeding, which begin in infancy and actually don't show up until young adulthood. So, um, and that they know that this helps produce lifelong immunity. So that has effects well into old age, which I've said many times before. They know that colostrum protects RNA and DNA until at least the effects of breastfeeding and human colostrum protect RNA and DNA until at least age 62. So these, these are just validations of things that I've said and that I would not know unless they knew it, but I'm just repeating it because they are still included in these newer articles and um, this particular reference article has at least 50 references related to bovine colostrum and um, these are just some of the findings that keep um, keep coming up in subsequent papers so for that reason <laughs> There, and it's also been stated that there, there, there is no other nutraceutical with the, that matches the effectiveness of bovine colostrum. So it is superior. That was actually stated that the effect of, the effects of bovine colostrum against all the other nutraceuticals are superior to every other nutraceutical so okay everyone thanks for your time i'll see you next time have a great day and have a great week bye